Yeah, this is a pretty clear mulligan. I'm all about Brimaz, but need a few more spells. Uh, this one's also not ideal. We're on the draw, though. If we can peel a land to cast our one drop, I think this is pretty good. So I'm going to keep it and bottom that. Like worst case scenario, we attack for four on turn three. When we have the double pride mage, I guess. It's possible we're supposed to go to one less. opponent's playing really slowly. I would guess this is Grixis Death Shadow. Nope. Dredge. Good thing we got four rest in peace. Hmm. So we could play Step Links and Windbrus Kites. And then next turn we could play Stomping Ground, Loam Lion, Pride Mage. Then we can activate Heights. Or we could play Pride Mage. The next turn we can play Pride Mage. Mood of Alt. I think I like the step links line. We're going to go with Regal Cat Lord. So we have basically the cards that we want under the heights, but this is probably not the type of draw that will match up well against Dredge. We'll see. We'll see how much damage they can deal us. They had a Lingering Souls. Interesting. Smallpox. This is not typical Dredge. Alright, so I will discard... Pride Mage. And I'll sacrifice this one. Sorry, Brimaz. This is not standard dredge by any means. opponent has a stinkweed in the yard and a lingering souls faithless looting life from the loam cast life from the loam gets back mire catacombs ghost quarter fatal push interesting Dredge Stinkweed Imp, I'm assuming. No, Dredge Loam. Maybe they're trying to set up for something. I 
so we are going to block. Uh, they'd have to ghost quarter our stomping ground, which I think we're okay with. I think they're just attacking because the creatures are extremely expendable, and they'll just get the one back that we kill. So I don't think they're going to ghost quarter us to try to kill our loam lion here. But even if they do, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. So we go to eight, discard a card, sack a creature, and land. Hmm. So we could activate Mood of All. I don't think we want to do that. I mean, we uh, let's see. Let's discard this one. Sack that one, and we will sacrifice the Mood of All as a land. And he gets his thing back. Yeah, this is a little rough with our draw. They can cast Lingering Souls too, if they choose to do that. There's not much we can draw here. I guess we could... Uh, yeah. It's not bad, depending on what the opponent has. Dredge Loam again. Hit another Blood Ghast. Yeah, we have to block. Yeah, they do go for it. It doesn't work that way because state-based effects don't check. Um, but it does mean that we'd have to get a mountain instead of a forest. Uh, let's see. I think it's worth it just to keep the cat around. Because now the spell completely resolves and then state-based effects check. And it's like, whoops. <laughs> Still a mountain. Path to exile, okay. They're still dead. Okay, so game one did not go well. We bring in four cards that are very good against them. Uh, a lot of their creatures are black too. Chameleon Colossus might be good. Then again, if they have smallpox, we're going to be light on lands, so I don't even know that the, the Cat Lord is super good. So I guess we just kind of have to assume that we're going to draw Rest in Peace. And then once we draw Rest in Peace, it's a matter of what other cards are good. Hmm. They did. They just drew a lot of smallpoxes, um, which were very good against us that game. I think in general, Shining Shoal is probably not super good. I think the removal spells could be good. I think all their creatures die to bolt, so we don't need to play Path to Exile. I think I want these guys. Probably don't need all of the Cat Lords. So Johnny might not be great either. It's pretty good at gaining life, I guess. Yeah, 
I think this is about where I want to be. This hand does not contain rest in peace, does not contain green mana. The green mulligan. All right, this one's better. I like the artwork on that card too. All right, keep. Yeah, I think we can top that. Loot, loot, loot. Discard your dredgers, flame jab. Okay. I think since the opponent didn't discard anything that's super relevant, um, I think that we can just jam the pride mage at this point. Smash. Take three, go to fifteen. Might regret it, but I think this is the play. Discard Honor the Pure. Going to sacrifice Loam Lion. You're going to uh, sacrifice a Plains. Then we'll get, I guess, white red. Opponent might just have like a fatal push in hand if they have land smallpox to be good. Well, there's a fatal push. It's a land. <laughs> yeah, Chameleon Colossus, maybe that one is not the right one to side in. <laughs> Opponent's down to one card, though, too. Two cards, so. We're basically at parity. And all their cards that rely on the graveyard are bad because of Rest in Peace. Alright, so. I think we have a few more uncastables in our deck. Now we have like a Colossus and two more Cat Lords, so we literally have three uncastables in our deck at this point. There we go. Chameleon Colossus. He hits pretty hard. And even if they smallpox him, we still have Moodavault. 
and the opponent's at nine, so it's a pretty fast clock. All right, that is the game. Hmm. So if I had more lands, I would bring in lands, but I don't. I think that we pretty much run it back. Maybe Honor the Pure should come out. I guess Shining Shoal might be a thing, because if we get stuck on lands like we did, we could pitch some of these high drops. Pathrone guy in response to a fatal push. Um, hmm. I think maybe one. Let's do that. They might bring in a way to deal with rest in peace. Um, hmm. This is a close hand because it does kind of do what we want. Lone Lion, uh, Pride Mage, Brimaz. It doesn't have any hate though. Like there's no rest in peace. Get hit pretty hard. We don't want to get life from the Lone Locked. I think I'm Mulligan. There's just a lot of draws that are just better than that one in this matchup. Now this one I guess we keep, because we don't want to just like keep mulliganing just to find rest in peace. Hmm. So lands are really good in this matchup because of uh, the... Uh, What's it called? Smallpox. If we get smallpox, I'll want to get hit more lands. I think we top that. I really want to draw rest in peace though, but I mean, if that's our plan for scrying lands to the bottom, then I think we uh, just mulligan to five anyway to find the rest in peace. When he's put into your hand from your graveyard, gain two life. It's Raphael Levy's favorite card. So do I want rest in peace or do I want Cat Lord? I guess if I'm attacking with three creatures, at that point Cat Lord is probably better. Dredge, okay. Hit a pair of lands. So we can go with like basic forest. So if we get poxed, um, we can sack the forest. 
is we only have six lands that we could fetch out with all our fetches. We have one of each basic and one of each shock land. So given that they have ghost quarters, um, and we have a whole bunch of fetches, like, it, and they have small poxes and stuff, it could be awkward. Conflagrate. Okay, that's a good one. We're going to go with white, red, and cast Brimaz. Kitty cats are online. So I guess they dredged a faithless looting and a land. So now they could conflagrate for four and kill Brimaz. Instead they life from the loom and now they can conflagrate. They could conflagrate for all everything and kill both our creatures. Or if they have a card in hand they want to keep, they might just kill Brimaz. I think they'll kill Brimaz though with the conflagrate. Unless they have another removal spell for it. Nope, just the whole hand. Okay, so they have no cards in hand. They have a ghoul steed. Discard two cards. Return it from the graveyard tapped. Faithless looting. And they have life from the loam. And they have brown scale. So I suspect they'll dredge loam. Hit three more cards into their graveyard. And then they will uh, use, cast loam to get three lands. And then they could play a land and then discard the other two and get back Ghoul Steed. Get a, a tapped 4-4. Four four. And then we can play the carrot the cat lord next turn. This one will be wild enough to hodl. They did, in fact, do what I suspected. And now there's a dark blast. So they might start trying to ghost quarter us. Let's see, ghost quarter, catacombs, bloodstained mire. Play the bloodstain. <laughs> All right, it is time. I suppose playing a fetch land might have been better. But whatever. Back with my 3-4 lifelink step links, my life links. All 
trying to get back the horse. Of course, of course. And Dredge Loam again. Yep. Hitting Lingering Souls and Faithless Looting. So our plan is to just take over the game with this Cat Lord. So we got a Ghost Quarter Catacomb Forest. Lingering Souls flashback. Yep. Oh, I hope they let us attack. They're probably going to hit both our Windbrisk Heights. Yeah, they hit the good one too. That's... That sucks. Alright. This step links gets big. We happen to draw our card too, which was unfortunate. Which were other basic. So I guess this was a scenario where maybe fetching a basic early was bad. What do we have? We still have the temple and the stomping ground left. That 4 4 is actually doing some work. Do I want to try to kill it? I think so. If we attack with everyone, they're going to block the Cat Lord with the horse. And Step Links will get blocked by a spirit, and I'll take two. Um, if we attack with the non Lord cats, then I think we can kill the horse if we do that. That'll give us another attack the next turn. I suspect it's just, yeah, horse on cat. Oh, didn't expect that block. Oh, I see. Okay. They're just trying to kill the tokens. In that case, do I get the extra damage in with the Lynx now? I think so. Twenty-seven to nine. I think I want to kill that guy now. They can get it back, but it'll come into play tapped. And we do have eight damage potentially on board that we're representing. All right, this guy comes back to the hand. So he's just a 2-3. No abilities. Okay. Deal. Brimaz. We know they have a land in hand, I think, right? The cats are coming! The cats are coming! Dredge alone. 
I don't know if that's going to do it. Cats. Are the cats too strong? Your less attack with the uh, Brimaz making a 2 2 lifelinker. <laughs> That'd be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we'd go up to 41. Oh, they hit the conflagrate. Are they going to survive? They might survive. Because they flashback looting. And they can, if they get two brown skills, it goes to 12. We still have lethal on the board, but now they can conflagrate away their hand to kill, I guess, the, the cat lord. And can they kill the step links too? I don't think they have enough. And what the opponent's doing. Yeah, it looks like they, they might survive this turn, though. Oh, no, they still have to discard. They can kill the, the step links with the conflagrate. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I didn't mean to F6, because I can crack the fetch to prevent that. So your slums, so aren't you just dead? This is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I guess they're just worth thinking if I have the, the extra land in my hand, or in my deck. Which I do, so it's still lethal, but so this is overkill that we drew a land. Kitty cats. Meow. So this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Coming at ya. Boom. Kitty cats. Too strong. <laughs> 